So in this video we're going to be determining the equation of a trigonometric graph. We're going to be able to look at a picture like this, this is example 1, and we're going to be able to determine what the equation is in terms of y equals a sine bx or y equals a cos bx. Now in the future you're going to do more complicated versions of this. We're keeping this relatively straightforward by only having an a value and a b value here, which means we're only going to be considering amplitude and period here. So I'm going to jump straight into this first example. Let's take a look. It starts here at the origin. Now the graph that starts at the origin, in, for what we're looking at at least, is the sine curve. So we can say that this is definitely a sine curve. So let's write sine curve there. Now let's consider the amplitude next. We go from the center of the graph up to the top and we measure that distance. Now that arrow there, it's only one unit long. So the amplitude here is amplitude equals one. And now we need to look at the period. How long does it take for this graph to repeat? Now you can choose any starting point. I'm going to choose the origin as my starting point. Now I'm moving up and I'm at the origin. So I go up, up, tick, 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 down, we, and then up, 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 up. Okay, the period of this thing is 360. And that's really all the information I need to be able to create this now. Now we do need to do just a little more calculation here because remember that period equals 360 over B. So if period equals 360 over B, and we know that our period is equal to 360, we can sub that into that equation. We can say that 360, which is the period, is equal to 360 over B, which means that our B value is equal to 360 over 360. Our B value is equal to 1. Now, I have all the information I need. I know that it's a sine curve, so I can write y equals sine. I know that it has an amplitude of 1. So if I was a bit silly, I could put a 1 out the front, but the 1's not necessary because that says 1 times sine, which is just sine. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to get rid of it at the end. I have a b value of 1. Now again, I don't really need a b value of 1. And x. All right, so making this so it doesn't look so silly, my answer to determining the equation of this trigonometric graph is y equals sine x. All right, let's do one that comes out a little stranger, I guess. All right, we're going to do this one a bit faster now. Uh, look at this graph. It's not starting at the origin. It's starting at the top. When x equals 0, y equals 2. That tells me that this is going to be a cos curve. All right, let's look at the distance from the middle up to the top. All right, you can see the peak of this is at 2, which means that this thing's going to have an amplitude equal to 2. We'll call A equals 2. Now let's look at the period. All right, here's the peak. The distance from one peak to the next peak is 180, which means that the period of this thing is 180. Now remember our formula for finding the B value. Period equals 360 over B. So, therefore, period, which we know is 180, equals 360 over the B value. And that means that B is going to be equal to 360 divided by 180. The B value is equal to 2. So, putting all of this together now, we know that Y is equal to amplitude 2. The curve is a cosine curve, and we know that the B value is 2 y equals 2 cos 2x. All right, so moving really fast this time, we can see that it passes through the origin. So we're going to call this a sine curve. We can see that the distance from the middle to the top is 0 0.6, which means the amplitude is 0 0.6. And the period, let's start here and let's go up, down, back to the start. The period is the distance from here to here, which is 90. Period equals 90. Okay, but we know that the period equals 360 over B, so 90 equals 360 over B. Therefore, B equals 360 divided by 90, which is 4. The B value is 4. Putting all of this together, we get Y equals the A value, 0 0.6. The curve, which is a sine curve, 
B value for X. Y equals 0 0.6 sine 4X. I'm going to do one more, and this one's going to have a little bit of a twist in it. All right, so the first two steps on this one are going to be relatively straightforward. We take a look at it. It starts up the top, not in the middle, so it must be a cosine curve. The distance from here to the top we can see is 3 units, so the amplitude is going to be equal to 3. And then the period. Let's take a look. Starting at the top, we go down and back up again, and then I can't tell... I can't tell what that point is. Who knows? All right, let's try again. Down and back up. That's one period there. And I don't know how long it is. Uh, let's continue. Down and back up. This is two periods. And I'm still not sure what that value is. Let's go with so that's two periods there. Let's go down and back up. I'm still not sure what that value is. Let's go down and back up. I don't know what that value is. And let's go down and back up. Oh, wait, that feels really obvious now. That's 360. So that means that we have five periods equals 360. So that must mean that one period equals 360 divided by 5. Um, 360 divided by 5 is 72. Let's take a look. One period... Is that number 72? It looks like it possibly could be. So the period, I think, is equal to 72. Now, we're still not finished because we need that B value. We know that the period, which is 72 in this case, is equal to 360 over B, which means that B is equal to 360 over 72, which equals 5. Okay, the fact that this is 5 and I had to count to 5 to get there that's a coincidence. It could have been, maybe I had to count to 10 um, and get up to 720. That's just a neat little coincidence. All right, finishing this off, we know that this graph now is y equals amplitude of 3. Graph is a cosine graph, and we have 5 as our b value x. All right, so we've done a few examples there, but really step by step figure out what the curve is figure out what the amplitude is figure out what the period is and then use that period to figure out what the b value is and you have sketched a graph